and welcome to Beads Jar. My name's Billy, and in today's little tutorial, we're going to be making these super cute little stud earrings using the Mayuki Delica beads. So to make this, I'll be using the size 15 Mayuka Delicas in this turquoise with a contrasting purple. I'll be gluing them onto a stud back using the Fevy Quick glue. And in order to weave my project, I'm using this eight pound fire line. You'll also be needing a pair of scissors. So let's get started. I've pre-threaded my size 10 beading needle for this project and I've added about 60 centimeters of fire line to my needle. And we're gonna be adding our first row. In order to do this, I'm gonna be creating what's called a brick stitch. So I'm gonna pick up a purple and a turquoise Delica. And I'm gonna take that down my thread. I want to leave a tail end, so a bit of extra thread at the end of the project that we'll be tucking in later. So I'm gonna leave about six centimeters or eight centimeters. And then I'm coming back. So I've got the two beads threaded and then I take my beading needle through the purple. And what we're aiming for here is for the two beads to sit side by side. I want to keep the purple bead as the outside bead and then I'm going to go back up through the turquoise. If they pull apart like that, don't concern yourself so much at this point as the project as when we start adding the other rows around they will come back to sit next to each other. I'm now going to pick up another turquoise and I'm going up through the turquoise we already have threaded and pulling that to sit alongside it as well. Go back down the same turquoise again. Another. So I've got three turquoise and one purple. And we're gonna have five beads in total, so along this row. So we've got two, three, four, and we're gonna add our purple bead for the end. As you can see, mine aren't sitting quite as perfect at this moment in time, but that's not a problem. So I'm gonna come back through that purple And then, so this is where you've come out of the purple, so your thread should be facing down. And I'm wanting you to now take your project and you're gonna flip it up the other way. So we're now coming out the top of the purple. We're gonna add our next bead in. So you're gonna pick up a turquoise and you're gonna take your needle between the turquoise and the purple that we've already threaded. So you're going underneath the fire line. And you can see there our turquoise bead. And we want to take our thread, so we've come under the fire line, now we're going up through the bead, but not again through the fire line. So this turquoise is going to be sat above the turquoise and the purple on the first row. As I say, they are quite moving a little bit more at this point, so I'm just going to manipulate them to show you. That's how they will start to sit, like brickwork. I'm going to pick up another bead, 
and I'm moving over to the next one along. Just keep being persistent, you'll notice it all pulling in as you go. So I've picked up my next bead and I'm going back up and through so it sits the right way. start to see it pulling in there so I'm going to the next bead along Put in another turquoise. And then through. I'm finishing that row with a purple and this time it's ever so slightly different the way we thread this one so I'm adding the purple and I'm going to take my beading needle down through the next purple bead so that we've got the effect with this bead jutting out to the side. Our beading thread with the beading needle is now coming out the bottom row again and the last purple on here. I'm going to work so it's easier for me so I'm just going to move my project. So we're back to the top row being our starting row and here I have my tail end so I'm just going to hold that with my fingers behind there so this is the beading needle thread and here I'm going to start picking up my second row which is going to mimic this one and I will be adding another purple very shortly so we've come out the top and you're going to pick up turquoise bead so we turn the project round don't forget that So now I'm on to the purple again, finishing this row, and that's where we take this needle back through the purple here. And now we can finish the purple below it as well. So we've come out of that middle row purple, and I can pick up another to complete this side. My thread's coming out the bottom there. And then I'm going to go back through that turquoise bead. <laughs> so 
So I've added that purple, gone back through the turquoise and I'm just going to go up two beads. So one, I'm just going to take this one at a time so that we can follow what we're doing here and I want to come out of this purple on the top row. I'm just going to turn my project on to the right hand side and then this is where we're going to add our next row above this. So we've got five, six and the next row is going to have seven beads in total. So I'm coming out of the purple, picking up my turquoise and along I'm going to go back down through that turquoise and I'm going to take this up through the purple and pick up another purple to finish the row beneath off. up through the turquoise again above that. Oh dear, my thread just came off my needle one moment. Okay, sorry, recuperated my thread with the needle on it. So I picking was about to go through the turquoise having picked up a purple bead. So that's set on the row below and then I'm going to pick up my next purple and we're going to come back down that purple there. To sit them next to each other and my thread comes across from the purple and up through the turquoise and the turquoise above it. The way I remember it is we've got the five and the six and then the seven. So this is the row of seven. And from the row of seven, we're now gonna add our first peak. So we want to come across again. So through our next lot of beads. purple and down and I'm going to take that across to the next turquoise next to the purple there out in that row and then up 
through the third turquoise in on the top row. Take a turquoise and we're going to go through the loop of fireline and then you go back up and then across with a second turquoise and up purple and up and I'm coming back down the turquoise there because we're not adding another bead by the side of it So we're going to create this peak on the opposite side of our project. So you're going to steadily make your way so that you're coming out of this turquoise bead here. And then we're going to be adding that next row as well. So we need another row of seven here before making our peak at the top. So you're just going to come all the way down and I'm going to join you when we've got there. So I work my way back through and I've popped out at the bottom. I'm going to make this easier for weaving and I'm going to bring my thread back up to the top. And I'm now going to be picking up my next beads and working my way across. So you're just filling in any gaps for this point by using the same technique and working your way along, picking up and adding beads. So I'll join you when you've finished and then what we'll do is show you how to glue this to the back of your project and also knot off our thread. Okay. In order to finish the project we'll need to knot this to end off. I have already done the tail end that was coming out to the side but it's the same way so once you've finished this one you'll put your needle back onto the tail end that we left and finish it in the same method. So. I was finishing with my peak so I did that last purple bead and I've come down and out through the turquoise one here and what you need to do is, it's a bit fiddly, you're going to take your beading needle and you're going to go through your beads in order to trap against one of the threads of fire line. So there I've managed to catch one, so I just put the tip of my needle in and just here we can see the fire line going across the needle and as I take my beading needle through we see a loop of fire line forming here and in order to knot this off I'm just going to take the beading needle through that loop, guide that knot down in between the beads and then I take this through another bead along and when we pull that down that will hide the knot in between. I'm going to do that another time. So I'm going to try and catch one to this side. So I've got two there so if I pull back a bit there we go we have one thread go through. There's the loop of fire line I'm looking for here and we're just going to gently pull that down. Avoid knotting your thread and then what you want to do is come out through the bead and take that excess thread off. My one consolation at this point is for finishing this project I can glue that side onto the back of my stud earring. So for yourselves obviously don't get the knots and then you're wanting to take the excess thread away. And then we can glue our star onto the back of our stud. 
So I've just got myself my little paper pad because I don't want to be sticking my bead mat up. So I'm just going to put a dab of glue onto the surface of my stud. And then I'm going to put my star in position and then place the stud. So I'm going to drop that down onto here. And I'm wanting that as central as I can. And then we're going to allow that glue to dry. And once it's dried, you won't be able to see the stud back if you've managed to position it correctly behind. And that'll give you two of these fabulous little star earrings. Thank you for watching our tutorial and we do hope you've enjoyed it. Feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel to watch all of our latest creations and designs and to see what inspiration we can give you with new beads available at Beads Jar. Thank you and see you next time.